Okay, um, I have no idea what the camera angle looks like because I can't see what I'm filming currently. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm in frame and uh, <laughs> that I'm not too close. I should be fine. Um, anyways, so uh, a lot of you have been complimenting me on my Joker makeup. Uh, so I thought I would make a sort of how-to video, even though, like, I do it a little bit differently each time, and just sort of whatever I'm feeling in the moment, I guess. Uh, but I'll show you kind of the basics. I kind of look really awful and dead-like currently because, uh, <laughs> I put, like, a layer of foundation on, um, to start the process. Um, you don't need to do that, I just didn't need to be entirely naked up here. So, um, first thing I do is sort of start with a white base, white-ish, uh, I'm actually basically out of white face paint though. Uh, so I have some scissors that I'm going to try and, uh, cut this open so I can get out the rest of that and then I'll use some of my other colors I actually have show you it's actually kind of an old set so some of them are pretty dry right now but I have like I don't know if you can see that like all of this there options um, And then I have some acrylics here as well, and some a black tube of face paint. But uh, yeah, so you're gonna need face paint, obviously. And uh, I have brushes at the wazoo because um, art student was an art student. I am an art student. Postponing school, but uh, art is a thing that I do. So, I have all these paintbrushes, but yeah. So anyways, we're gonna cut this tube of paint open because desperate times call for desperate measures. Let me get some of these sounds going for you. If I should just, I might actually just try to stick my paintbrush in there actually. No jokes, okay. We get it. Haha, <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Ooh, probably not bump that. I'm just gonna get up what we have left in here and just kind of I'm gonna look over here because that's where the mirror is, but um just put it in random spots and you can spread it out later. You don't really have to get the mouth area around here so much because um, that's going to be mostly red. You don't have to get around your eyes a lot because that'll be mostly black, at least with the makeup that I do. I do more of a Heath Ledger inspired makeup. Uh, you can go more Jack Nicholson though if you'd like. So I'm just going to... some very spots. I don't think I'm gonna have enough, enough to do my entire face, so I might spread it out a little. I don't know, I might have enough. It would be kind of a thin layer. I can put some uh, white um, eyeshadow over top of it to fill it in if need be. And I actually stop sort of at my jawline because I don't really feel like wasting the extra paint and I think it kind of, um, I don't know, just helps, like if you're, <laughs> if you're female and you're trying to pull up a male character such as the Joker, Define jawline. It's helpful. Mm. 
And if you're faking it. Either way though. Kind of have white paint everywhere. <laughs> All over the brush. It's fine. For always uses. Um, so last time that I did this for my uh, Joker doctor appointment roleplay thing, um, I actually, um, let me <laughs> make it look like I'm looking at the camera, uh, sort of did this weird thing with my eyebrows that I think I like. I sort of like <laughs> made them crazy on purpose with paint and then with white paint actually and went back in with green paint and defined them a little. Because it's going to take forever just to get a coat of white. I'm trying to do this rather quickly because I don't know how much space I have on my camera. I don't want it to stop recording randomly. Probably going to check it every so often and make sure we're still recording. This is sort of a similar thing that I do when I do like a skull type face paint. Um, this is how I start out with just white. I don't really paint my face all that often to be honest, but I don't have much of a reason to other than ASMR videos and for fun. I kind of painted them like the opposite way they're supposed to go, like this, so it kind of is crazy in and of itself. If you already got some crazy eyebrows going on, then you don't really have to do that, but it's still pretty cool. I don't really need to get all the way against my eye. It's not necessary for our purposes. Kind of go over this a little bit, blend it in. Ugh, I'm gonna run out of paint. I'm gonna be so sad. Move closer. I have like another color that I might try to blend in here a little bit. Okay. So that's the issue with me filming in here. I actually film in the bathroom most of the time. And there is a huge mirror, like this whole wall is basically a mirror. So, like, I catch myself looking at myself a lot. Um, but in this case, I kind of need to because I need to see what I'm doing. Okay, let me, um, I am so covered in white paint right now. Um, crap. Towel. It's a white towel, so. Um,. Here. What do I got going on in here? Nothing, basically. I guess that's totally dry. <laughs> Five struggles with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me try to. Mix this up a little some water. I don't know. I don't think this is gonna be too good either. 
trying guys, bear with me. So far I've just succeeded in making a mess. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, well. Accomplishing something, I think. Early and late, but, um. Again, it doesn't really have to be entirely perfect or anything. This is really watery now, I added way too much water. Okay, but I think... I keep telling myself that, maybe it'll come true. <laughs> okay, um, good enough for now. For the purposes of this video, until I get some more white face paint. Just set that in there. Okay, I'm kind of gonna let it dry, do its thing a little bit. Um, I think I'll actually. I can just start on the red now. It'll be fine. Okay. So, for the mouth area, go in with some reddish color. I think this actually needs a little bit of water as well. Not too much like last time though. <laughs> okay. Super clumpy. But for our purposes, it's actually not necessarily a bad thing because clumpiness for a scar kind of works out. It's kind of follow like a, a path, I guess. And I like to sort of extend off the mouth as well. It's so, um, so all kind of blends together nicely. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. Let me just eyeball this real quick. I need to like 
Oops, they're not ending up in the places that I would prefer them to end up in. I feel like this side always ends up looking so much better. I'm already doing it. All I have done is like, part of the lips. I'm already doing it. This is a, a darker color, which is helpful for making it look like, I guess, more bloody if you wanted something a little bit more gory. Well, this just depends on what kind of joker you're going for. too much. Uh, I just have to slip a little. 